ഡോക്ടർ കലാമണ്ഡലം നിഖില വിനോദ് എ മോഹിനിയാട്ടൻ ഡാൻസർ ആൻഡ് എ റിസർച്ചർ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഹിയർ ടു പ്രസൻറ്റ് എ ഡെമോൺസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഓൺ ദ ബോഡി ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഓഫ് മോഹിനിയാട്ടം ഈവൻ ദോ ദിസ് സ്റ്റഡി ഈസ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഓൺ മോഹിനിയാട്ടം ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി അപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ടു ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യൻ ക്ലാസിക്കൽ ഡാൻസ് ഫോംസ് എ ഡാൻസർ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റ്സ് ടു ഹെർ ബോഡി സോ ദ ബോഡി ലാംഗ്വേജ് is the basis for all dance forms today we are discussing here uh, about the language about the body language uh, the importance of body language and the structure of body language uh, and the application or implementation of body language in mohiniyattam but before we start i would like to thank mrs uh, prajisha and mr srijit the directors of natya mandapa uh, dance academy bangalore to give me this platform to discuss and share my ideas and on this occasion i remember all my gurus especially guru late kalamandalam lilama who molded me as a dancer so let me start now what is language language is the means of communication or in other words communication is the first and last goal of a language as a social being language is an essential thing uh, for humans it is intertwined with all the activities in human life it is through the language that we identify any object uh, we think about anything and we learn anything so language is an unavoidable thing in our life but as per the new studies and observations language is not merely verbal everyone capable of communication is considered as language in that sense uh, every art form has its own language but this language may vary according to the medium for example colors are the language of painting and the swaras are the language of music like that dance forms also have their own language and recognizing that language means recognizing the dance form itself so it helps the dancer uh, to make her choreography more deep strong and beautiful um language is primarily verbal but before the invention of uh, alphabets and words humans started their communication in that non verbal communication period body language had played a prominent role even now we use so many gestures and um, facial expressions in our real life uh, such as come what word don't speak like that these gestures and facial expressions are the basis of body language but in dance we can never use them in a general way we should modify these movements uh, to a dramatic language of dance for that uh, we can do three things first one uh, we should exaggerate the movements uh, and the second one we should beautify every movement and third one we should set them in a rhythmic pattern through these three phases a dancer creatively uh, form her language or her body language uh, she converted the uh, 
gestures and facial expressions in real life to a dramatic language or stylistic language of dance through these three phases that is exaggeration and beautification and uh, the rhythm in this way she create the body language and what is the important of a body language the body language is conveyed to the audience in a visual format uh, a dancer has to show up the events or incidents uh, with her body or using this body language that means every incident or every uh, event should be visualized in a dance form this visual helps the audience or the spectators in three uh, ways um first one a visual is more effective than a speech and the second one uh, a visual can touch the heart of the people uh, more than a talk and the third one a visual is universal and everyone can follow that uh, for example one who uh, don't know the language english cannot follow the, follow the uh, meaning of the word flower but one who see this mudra can easily identify that so uh, visual is universal and everyone can follow that a dancer um, intellectually combine these three possibilities of visual to her body language and through the possibilities of that body language she communicates with the spectators